Ryan, congratulations. Coming into this fight, I think it's safe to say that no one believed you could win. We saw the odds go against you 600, 700, 800 to 1, and you just pull off a massive upset. How did you do it? God did. My, my heavenly father, Jesus Christ, I'll give you all the glory. They'll come and do it. Without you, I love you so much. Come on, God, you really thought I was crazy? You got lost your own mind. Ryan, from the very first round, you set the tone. That first left hook knocked Devin. How much did that set the tone for this fight? Uh, I mean, my left hook is my left hook. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, that's blessed by God. So whenever I land it, it can't put you out or down. How did you know that you were going to be able to land that so frequently? Devin was obviously aware that because, that... Because you guys overrate everything. You guys hate on me because I'm pretty and shit. Man, that's fucked up. At the end of the day, I've been boxing my whole life, and all I do is love God and try to help the children, and you guys straight hate on me. You guys do not love the truth. The truth is in front of you. I try to... I put my fucking reputation on the line for all the kids in the world, and everybody's fucking staying quiet but me. Ryan, the... This is a competitive fight right into the middle rounds of this fight. You landed that first knockdown. What were you seeing when you landed that left hand? I just, man, I don't know, man. I got to gather my thoughts at the end of the day. I need a shot of beer or like alcohol, something <laughs> to get my mind going, you feel me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Man, can you guys take a joke, man? But the left hands, the ones that you landed on Devin, how much did that change the fight in the middle, the first one that knocked him down? Oh, yeah, I, I just knew I had control after that. It's hard to recover from big shots. And, um, you know, maybe my conditioning wasn't my best, but, you know, at the end of the day, I got the job done. You seem to have some incredible moments early in the fight, middle of the fight. Then there were some moments where you went back a little bit at shoulder roll at times, fought a little bit more defensively. Was that just a conditioning issue at the time, or was there more to it? I don't know, man. I just, I have ADHD, so I just start doing random things. <laughs> How much, when you got in there with Devin, why did you believe so much that you were the better fighter? Uh, I just know that I've been boxing my whole life. I fought him six times. I knew what I could do. But I want to thank my team, man. Guadalupe, Valencia, Sip Brown, everybody on my team, man. I put them through hell this camp. I, I mean, I got to give them credit, man. You guys went through it all. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you, Bernard. Thank you, everybody in this arena. NYC! Man, I love you guys. I want to come back to NYC. I love NYC. Hey, hey, everybody, go to town. Go to town nightclub. Let's talk about coming back here, Ryan. This was an amazing fight. You guys are longtime rivals. Is this a fight you'd like to do again? Yeah, let's run it back. All right. Ryan, we'll turn over to Devin Haney. Devin, your thoughts on what happened tonight? Uh, I'm doing well. You know, I lost a perfect planner. Uh, I'm disappointed with my performance, but I showed that I was that I was a you know a true champion, and that um I could fight with, after being knocked down and being hurt. You knew that left hand was Ryan's best weapon. You got clipped with it in the first round early one on. It just seemed like you couldn't stay away from it throughout the course of the night. Yeah, he called me. He called me early when I was sleeping on it. Um, he called me by surprise. I fell asleep on the on the left hook. We trained. We trained for it, but I got I, I got in there and I, and, and I fell asleep. Uh, and, and he caught me with it. When you went down that first time, how hurt were you? How much did that change the course of the fight? I was more surprised than hurt. Um, the first time, I wasn't really that hurt. I was more surprised. But like I said, he, he went in there, he jumped on me, just like he knew he would, but I was just sleeping. How much did his style start to affect you? Because when he did slow down, he turned his back on you at times, made things a little bit complicated. Yeah, no, I, I, I thought the ref, uh, you know, let him turn his back, let him hold a little too much. But um, alhamdulillah, Allah is a perfect planner. He makes no mistakes. You know, we just heard Ryan say, sure, we'll run this fight back. Is a rematch something you'd like to do next? Of course. Um, I thought it was a close fight still. Um, I would love to, to, to rematch. I gave him a shot. It's only right he gave me a shot back. When Ryan came in a little bit heavy, you said, I'm going to go through with this fight no matter what. Do you have any regrets about that now? Uh, no, no, no. Like I said, Allah is a perfect planner. Um, he didn't make weight, so I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm still the champion. And uh, we can run it back. Devin, tremendous fight. Fighter of the, fight of the year type performance. Thank you. Thank you.